But first, let's check in on the leader of the free world. Look at that confident gait. He is as <laughs> fit as a fiddle in body and mind. Four more years, no problems there. America's enemies must be terrified of this man's strength and mental faculties. You just know China, Russia, Iran are watching on, quivering in fear. Mr. President, do you agree with Chuck Schumer that Netanyahu should go? Look, let's not judge too quickly. Let's see if we get an answer there to the journalist's question about whether the president supports his colleague Democrat Chuck Schumer's call for regime change in Israel. Regime change, not in Gaza, Israel. This clip should inspire supreme confidence in the Commander-in-Chief. Oh, dear God. If that man is fit to be president, then I'm a bluefin tuna. That is a man who should be enjoying his golden years having ice cream and, and pudding in a retirement facility, not the White House. Or could we combine the two? At White House Senior Living, our residents feel right at home. Our vibrant facility offers delightful activities and outings, round-the-clock professional care, and exquisite house-made meals. Oh, I've been eating everything that's put in front of me. But I've been eating all, all Italian food, basically. And ice cream. And ice cream. Chocolate chip ice cream. White House Senior Living, where residents feel like presidents. Goodness so good. me, beautiful bit of satire there. But it's not just the Yanks bring us political satire. We have brilliant writers and cartoonists poking fun at the absurdities of the Australian political system. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy the latest episode of Pauline Hanson's Please Explain. This week, we explore the beauty of DEI, diversity, equity and inclusion. Alrighty, time to hire our chief surgeon. Two candidates, Steve, top of his class, 25 years experience, miraculously never lost a life. Or Opal, legally blind with an essential tremor, never worked a day in her life, but has wanted to be a doctor ever since she was a little boy. What school did she go to? Uh, puppy school. She identifies as a moodle. Okay, I, th I think we should go with Steve. doing? Hiring on merit? Not on my watch, you're not. Bunch of white men hiring white men again. You swore an oath, remember? Or was your commitment to diversity just a lie? Oh, 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 oh. What's that? All right, we'll hire Opal. Good. Nice job, Adam. This diversity, inclusion and equity weapon sure is powerful. Yeah, well, if you're serious about eradicating racism, you're going to need the big guns. Oh, there's just so much racism around here. Look over there. Why is this woolly selling Australian flags? Take them symbols of oppression down now. Of course, of course, I apologise. Why don't you consult with First Nations peoples before putting this park bench here? Oh, I didn't think that. Tear it down and apologise. Oh, OK, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, there's so much racism around here. What's that, a Zoom call without a welcome to country? Hey, Adam, do you reckon I could have a go at pointing the gun at people's heads? <laughs> now, let's see if Albo does any better wielding the weapon that is DEI. Perhaps it will hold anti-Israeli activists accountable or point out that a multimillionaire soccer star allegedly berating a working-class copper with racially charged language should be frowned upon or will he meet the consequences of his own stupid actions? All right, stamping out racism wherever I see it. Is that a from the river to the sea poster? Ha! <laughs> that's calling for genocide. That's racist, right? What? No! Elbow, that's activism. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, of course. I was just being stupid. Oh, but look over there. There's Australia's favourite lesbian female soccer player for the Matilda Sam Kerr. And what's she doing? Being racist to a police officer? You stupid white Ah, oh, Sam, you need to do better. No, nope, that's not racist. Move on. What? But didn't you hear what she said? Yes, but it's impossible to be racist against white people, Albo. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's not contradictory at all. Um, but oh no, there's Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, doing blackface again. 
Elbow, no. He's one of us. Just ignore it. Now, hang on. Now I'm confused. That doesn't make any logical sense. Logic is racist, Albo. It's a filthy white construct designed to maintain the hierarchical power imbalance that we're trying to destroy. Oh, I get it. This is a completely incomprehensible weapon that's not actually used to eradicate racism, but rather just to use against our political enemies. Now you're getting it. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, let's go destroy the fabric of society. Not so fast. You think I'm scared of this? I've had this thing fired at me more than anyone. Go on, take your best shot. Make my day. Uh, what's going on? No one's ever stood up against this thing before. What do we do? Fire. Press the button, Elbow. What are you waiting for? Destroy her. Ah, OK. Elbow, don't. All right, let's open this stupid white it up. Scalpel. Oh no, the consequences of my actions, no! Oh, so, so good. If you want to support the hilarious team behind those cartoons, then get yourself a bottle of Senate vodka, or perhaps you prefer Senate gin, or make watching Question Time far more enjoyable.